May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Mass that we are having for the teaching day for our dear brother and friend and father, whose Adonai will be the soul rest in the peace. To prepare ourselves worthily for this celebration, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and ask for respect. I confess to Almighty God.
Brasil, né? Deus tem isso. É igual lá, é Deus tem isso. Isso é que será esse aí. Esse é o nome dele. Olha para isso aqui. Ele deve ter sido o nome. Right Honorable Philip Scheibel. A Excelência Miriam Scheibel. E todos os governantes funcionários em high market em que the state law recognizes you and welcome you and all the commissioners. We are gathered to pray for a man who believed in hard work. Born 1960, married in 1990, a man who studied and continued to study. This short biography, if you read it from between page two and three, you will discover that this is a man who loved to study and who also loved to use his study to impact the society. From reading marketing to reading English, whether in the UK or whether in the University. For him, the pursuit of knowledge is something that must continue. And to the children who say, Your father lived longer than Jesus here on earth. As we think about him, saying, We probably should have him longer. You have the right to take that way. But we eventually submit to God, not knowing the time the hour is going to cause. And it also depends on how we are, how handsome, or beautiful, or wealthy, or poor. It also depends on anything that we possess. He is the one that has the clock. And the time is ticking for everyone. A good life, therefore, is the best thing. And to have a good society with four boys who are also ready to continue his legacy of hard work, the second entrepreneur, employer of labor, who believes that. The best way to lead a society is to be engaged in providing services that people need, whether it's in estate management or in other form of marketing. He was involved in all. He leads us to the legacy that success is only sweet after hard work. He walked and he knows what it is to manage. And so to the children, to the wife, was saying, take consolation in the words of scripture. Jesus himself tells us that in my father's house there are many mansions. And when I finish the burial, I will come and take you so that you can take possession of your home. And that the materials to prepare your mansion is the work you perform here on earth. The good work you perform here constitutes the material. If you live a good life, a life of love, a life that is filled with forgiveness and spontaneous care, you are planning your home in heaven. And you see the children it's not that we don't have adults to sing for us. The melodious voice of these children. They want to say thank you to the twin brother of the deceased because he's building them a beautiful church. And they say they must sing for the one who spent months together in the womb. As we gather to reflect on what the liturgy of the world has offered us, 
perhaps the words of the gospel, words of Christ in the gospel, becomes very instructive. We do not know the hour when the master will come. And therefore, let us all be vigilant. There is no amount of prayer that we can offer to God that can prevent us from dying. And so do not be delusioned by any form of prayer that say you will never die. But rather pray for a good life and holy death. That when we die, we are ready to meet our Creator. That is to be our prayer. The Lord says, if He comes in the first watch, the second, in the third, whatever time He comes, let us not listen to these chief makers who start calculating cause of death other than our logical cause of death. Let us not listen to prophets who know how to see cause of death other than biologically simplified cause of death. Yes, like the physical cause of death are there, but not for the children of God. What matters most is the life we have lived, the number of persons we have touched, the number of people we have touched positively. You can live 120 and have a less than five year impact to the life of people. And you can live 62 like our father and brother and impact people as you live like 120. So what we should be looking at as we celebrate, as the program called it, the call to glory. First reading tells us, on this mountain the Lord will wipe away tears from every eyes. It's important for us to take those words seriously. That the fact that you are close to God does not mean that tears will not be on your eyes. He says, the Lord will wipe the tears. He didn't say the tears will not come. Tears come because of tragedy. Tears come because of disappointment. He says, the Lord will wipe your tears. He did not say you are immune from tears. As we gather to consult the family, we know that every drop of tears that flows from your eye, they are a mark of your love for your husband and father. And I pray that those tears, as they continue to run, as they run down your cheeks, let them flow, but let them flow with the hope that we know that we will meet one day to pass no more. We believe in the resurrection. This is the most important of a Christian message. That for us Christians, death means a change of the form of living. Death is not life-ended. Our language cannot capture the trans essential reality of death. And so what we call the dead person, we start using past tense. But the theology of Christ, what Christ tells us, when I finish preparing the place, I'll come and pick you, is a present tense. It is because the English and all the various languages cannot capture the life after him. That is why we begin to say he was a good man. There is no words for those who believe in Christ. Whether we live, whether we die, we belong to the Lord. So says the Paul. So let these words be engraved in our heart, knowing that a temporal separation is not with your Father in heaven. And let us support him with our prayers, so that as we pray that, really that he was a human being here on earth, that the Lord will forgive his 
witnesses and preach to the sacrifice of the past. For those of us here who are alive here, let us know that we are closer to our grave than when we walk into this church. We are closer to our grave than when we started this service. Every second, every minute is a step taken forward towards our intent. Our life is short. And we should therefore not be afraid of the shortness of our life, but maximize the use of the short time we have here on earth. God, who give eternal rest in this kingdom to Christ our Lord.
will start from the bar.